You guys, so I haven't told you where we're going or where we're at, but you'll probably have figured it out by now. But I want to share with you who's with me on this trip. I have two people right now. Well, three total, but one's busy. But I want to share with you. This is my mom. This is my mama, Tracy. And what is your favorite part that we have done in this city? Don't say where we're at. Everything. Everything. What have we done? Magnolia Bakery. Okay. Ray's Pizza. Okay. Where else have we gone? Where? The Nike store in Soho. It doesn't say where we are. Uh huh. Hey, Spain. Spain. Yep. Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh. Um, what has been your most top favorite? Just being Overall. with my daughters. Being with all of my daughters. There you go. And yeet, yeet. we had dinner with some amazing people Spending last night. Spending time with family. Oh, yep. that was Yes. Good. And we will Guess show you else? some clips of that little fun excursion right now. share with you is one of my Adam. favorites you have to come right here one of my favorites of all how am I not your favorite sister how's your sibling, mom not uh, your favorite how's oh, your mom siblings. not your favorite she's of siblings and uh, this is my sister Madeline sister not your favorite uh, and what is your she's Nothing. the middle one of the middle child middle siblings what is your favorite part about where we're at in the city um, I don't know. I like walking around yes. and meeting new people. Yeah? Yeah. Like yesterday we were on the bus tour for two hours Oh my traffic. gosh, that was so crazy, right? We met right? this really nice dude and we talked to him for two hours. Why was the traffic so crazy? Oh, because there was a steam something explosion steam and pipe. so steam pipe explosion so it shut down a bunch of roads. Yep, so we were on the bus tour for two and a half, like Almost a two and a half hours. Oh yeah, and my other favorite part. The yes. Cuban restaurant with JJ in Adelaide. Adelaide. Yes, that was so fun. They danced and had a great time. Huh? Yeah, they're good dancers. It, they're better amazing. Than me. Do you want to see me dance? Yes, yeah. go. Okay. I'm not go very ahead. good. Yes, you are. You to, you can I know. See my old face. Hold on. Okay, go. Okay, I'm not very good, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Can you do the kinky dance, Madeline? No, I can't do that dance. <laughs> Just wait for later, boy. Yeah, we'll do that in this You clip. have to stay tuned. Yep, you'll stay tuned to that. We'll see you guys soon and tell you where we're at. Bye. Bye.
All right, you guys, so we are leaving this city, but where we're at is Times Square. Right. We're gonna show you a little bit as we're you driving. You by. Yeah, I was on the That's perfect. I was this light. <laughs> and it originally told me that um, it was you gonna are take like, crazy. 45 minutes to find somewhere. I was like, oh, shoot. As you guys can tell, this and is the hotel said, like, we stayed in. Like, oh what did we great. say, man? The Renaissance. The Renaissance. Yeah. And who is the best bellman there? JJ. JJ. What a great trip, you guys. Have a great trip. Yes. 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 We are. Yes. 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 There's the two of us we took. Hey guys, so as you guys can tell, obviously I've stopped this video and took a pause because I wanted to share with you guys that this video kind of, there's a couple of moments where there's like a random change in events and that is because not only was this our, not even our trip together as siblings and family because it's really hard to get us together, but it was my first trip being a YouTube creator and trying to create a cool video. And also trying to figure out the time where it could be family time and us creating memories for a lifetime. And it was also like we had to get the stuff on film because I want to create those memories as well for us to look back on film as well. So it was kind of a weird change in lap or change. It was just a weird change in how and finding the right balance on this trip. And not only that, you guys, but um, there was a lot of things that we didn't get to film either that I think our family as a whole would have loved to have it filmed because the experience is amazing and I think that for those experiences you want to have just for yourself as well. So, and then the next clip you're going to see is Madeline and I and obviously you guys I'm sick in this whole entire trip. Like once we left and took flight from um, Kansas City and all the way up to New York. Like once we landed in New York, I was not feeling the best. Um, as you guys I'm sure can tell throughout this video, I don't sound like me. I don't sound anything remotely to what Lindsay is. But thankfully there were days where like my siblings would help me out, my family would help me out with not me speaking a lot. And so that was really nice. So here's the next couple clips from our second part or part two of our adventure to New York. So here you go. Hey guys, it's Lindsay here. So on this video, you're going to see the second part of our adventure, which will be unveiled bits and pieces at a time throughout this video. Are you guys, so there's a hotel. You can tell there's Madeline right there. She's having a crazy, amazing time checking out her purse. couple of clips are what I'm going to share with you basically so let me give you guys a timeline so what the next couple of clips of what you're going to see is something pretty crazy and obviously Madeline explained it my sister aka Maddie she explained what was happening right after the madness happened so the next couple of clips you're going to see was literally the last down to the last hour of us being in New York and heading to the airport. And so let me give you a backstory on how this happened because as much as my sister explained it very to the point and frank, I mean, I wish I would have filmed a couple of things that were happening before meeting the beautiful and pretty awesome Elena Del Don who is now with the Washington Mystics and she just made Madeline's trip. I mean you guys if you knew if you are a basketball fan and you've ever met your just basketball idol either on a men's team or a women's team you probably know what Madeline is feeling but I want to give you guys a backstory is that so that morning we woke up and we went down to breakfast um 
at the Ritz Carlton. That's where we stayed, as you'll notice in the clips previous to this. And Madeline had noticed a couple of people had Mystic, the Washington Mystics jerseys on, or even just t-shirts on. And she was like, oh my gosh, um, I think they're here. Like, what the heck? And there's a bus outside of the hotel, like, not really across the street, but over a ways. And so she, I mean, you can put the pieces together, as I even tell you. And so we go and ask our bellman as we're checking out, um, and she's already just excited at the fact that, like, she, she just, at this point, knows that they're there. And she'd just seen them the week before that we were at, in New York, in Chicago. So, she, I mean, this girl is pretty much just, ironically, God placed it to where they're in the same city. And it's not even they're in the same city, they're in the same hotel, and that, like, we're going to make sure this happens. So the mom was like, yeah, the game's at three, they're going to leave soon, and kid you not, we are an hour-ish away from when we realistically need to leave, and knowing that, I wish I would have gotten this on film, you guys, it's so insane, Madeline is just jumping out of her own skin at the fact of, like, she gets to meet someone who she looks up to and who she wants to become in a matter of years, and so just to watch her just freak out and she's like oh my gosh my heart's jumping out of my chest when is she coming and we're watching you guys and mind you this is an hour before we're realistically supposed to leave we were technically supposed to leave 30 minutes before after like 30 minutes from when we checked out which our checkout time was relatively around noonish, and so we gave her about an hour and 15 minutes and as each person trickled down the to the front of the hotel um Madeline just kept getting antsy and she's like when is she coming when is she coming so kid you not as Madeline's explaining this I mean she's it's insane like I don't know how God made this work but we literally you guys we waited about an hour she had not come down yet then as we noticed um one of my sisters went to the bathroom and my mom decided to call an uber and as she's calling the uber we get in the car the bus had left so we're assuming that maybe in this whole time frame of us getting an Uber and waiting outside um, the entrance that maybe like they took some play players to um, the arena and they are going to come back and get the rest of the players. Like sometimes they do that. And so we're like, okay, let's hope that happens. So as the Uber pulls up, you guys, just it's insane. As we all are sitting down and we're getting ready to leave, the bus comes back. And Madeline is just yelling at me in such just the excitement. And she's like, oh my gosh, get out of the car, get out of the car. We have to stay here. And so we even told the Uber, we will pay you, we will tip you, please, we, she's going to come down. Uber guy was real cool. Shout out to you if you happen to be watching this video. She came down maybe 10 minutes later. Alright guys, so we're leaving the Ritz Carlton and someone just got to meet someone super pretty awesome. I'm going to let her tell you about it because it's not my story, it's her. So. I just got to meet, wait, is it someone? I just got to meet Elena Del Don. We waited for an hour and the bus left. The bus <laughs> left, so we got really scared and ordered the Uber. But then the bus came back when our Uber got here, so we had to wait for longer. I got to see her. Look. And and why is she so important to you? Because she's my favorite basketball player ever. Yeah, and how didn't you get to take a picture with her in Chicago? Yes. Oh my gosh. This just made her entire trip as we're heading to the airport now. Oh my gosh. Madam, I'm so happy for you. Alright guys, make sure that you like this video, give it a comment, make sure you go subscribe right now, and check out all the crazy adventures that are about to happen, and what you'll see next in the next couple of videos. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you, Elena Del Don, for just stopping for five minutes and saying hi to Madeline. And she does look up to you, and she really is going to be in the WNBA one day. And just you just taking that time with her really motivates her to get back into the gym and work her butt off and to become what she really is truly made to be. So I hope you're watching. I hope the Washington Mystics watch this and share this with Elena Del Don because 
I didn't realize the impact of what she had on my sister until this day. Thank you so much day. for supporting my channel. Not only that, make sure you drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video and were able to handle the antics. And make sure you subscribe right down here and hit that notification bell because when you subscribe to Beyond the Beauty Lindsay and hit that notification bell, you get notified before anyone else when my videos drop. So make sure you do that because who doesn't want to be notified when things happen, right? And be the first to know. Who doesn't? I know I do. I like to know things first. So make sure to do those things. And not only that, stay beautiful, stay unique, and remember that you are loved, you are mattered, and that you matter, and that everything you're doing in life is for a reason, a season, and a moment. So remember those things and just in in the rough time of moments you may be having today in life, remember that tomorrow is a new day and that there will be a better day.